It was a hot, humid, and hectic morning. Two air conditioners were cooling the room, and yet heat still lingered like an evil menace, causing salty droplets of sweat to slide on my cheek, slip, and then swallow the recently mopped floor. To my left, I saw a hip-hop group practicing their locking and popping, while to my right, I saw a guitarist silently strumming the strings of his guitar. Unnerved by their talent, I felt sharp needles poking at the pink softness within my skull. My heart pounded as fast as a hummingbird's beating wings. That closed the saggy eyes and hung my head low to my feet. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome, Natch. Good evening. 2009 was the year that I joined a competition for the very first time. It was one of the most life changing experiences of my life because on that day was the day. I mustered my courage to sing in front of a huge live audience. It began a few months before, when the school was buzzing with excitement at the announcement of an upcoming talent show competition. I was standing and staring at this cheesy looking flyer especially posted on the notice board, wondering, is this my chance to come out of the shadows and overcome my fear of this planet? Something inside me made me believe in this. Flashing back to the competition day itself, suddenly I heard the booming voice of the talent show host, as loud as thunder, calling my name. It was time. I walked up the stage with my guitar playing partner. The red tide of the red tide of carpet cushioning my every step towards center stage. With the microphone in hand, I slowly, anxiously, and fearfully looked up to face the audience. My eyes were met with white waves of school uniforms and piercing stares of my peers. My throat went dry, my hands sticky with sweat. And my heart threatened to break out of my ribcage. I felt the brightness of the lights burning my pale, perspiring face. And so I looked down to avoid the glare of the lights, the glare of the audience. But then suddenly I saw a gleam on the metallic surface of the mic. And I heard it whispering to me, don't be afraid. You can do it. Show them the true potential. And then suddenly, I was overwhelmed with a renewed sense of determination, drive, and audacity. I looked up nodded at my guitar playing partner and then I sang my heart out. Fellow Toastmasters and yes, I didn't win first prize. But it didn't matter. I came in third. But the prize was not a small cup in my hand. The prize was something more important. Explore my hidden potential and courage to 
overcome my fear of being under the spotlight. Joining the competition has made me realize that the world is actually my oyster. And so that itself matter. That itself made it was worth all the preparations, practice, and patience.